What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally going to be picking up the rocker and cam covers for the RV20. In the last couple of videos we are currently, as you saw, are doing maintenance on the RV20. We are prepping for the bigger turbo that has been sitting in my closet for god knows how long. We have all the supporting mods, the whole spiel. We are doing timing, everything maintenance wise, anything that really rotates we will be replacing so of course i am going to be keeping this rb20 for as long as i possibly can because the prices of jdm motors have skyrocketed and i'm not too crazy on pushing like 400 500 horsepower so we are currently just building the rb20 just to push at least 300 to 320 wheel and since i'll be keeping the rb20 for a long time i want to make it of course reliable and look its absolute best Initially, I wanted to dip the rocker and cam covers in a Gucci design and or a Louis Vuitton design just because, you know, just to have fun with the build. But the color scheme that I wanted, Powder Bros didn't have, so I decided just to powder coat the rocker and cam covers a gloss white because the current theme on the Skyline is white and blue. Tyler showed me pictures about an hour ago on how they came out and on pictures, they came out amazing. And the other day, what finally came in from Japan, shout out to RHD Japan for always hooking me up. We got a genuine Gretti anodized blue oil cap, which is going to set off the engine bay just right. Update two on the VSKF wheel build. As you can see right here, a huge shout out to Ian for getting these barrels for me at a killer price. We have our 18 by five and a half inch barrels. My lips from VR wheels should be here within the next couple of days. Initially, I only ordered the pair for the rear, which are gonna be low disc. And then this morning, I just went ahead and ordered new barrels and lips for the front set. We are cutting it close. The show is October 9th, October Fest here at the Tucson Expo Center. The lips took about 18 to 19 days to say machine and get coated the way I wanted. So it being almost the middle of September, I think we will be able to run the full set of VSKFs before the show. The Skyline has been big chilling the past two weeks, but hopefully today we will get the RB starting. Put the covers back on, button everything up, get everything nice and clean with new seals. My only concern is timing. Since we did take off the cast sensor, I did take this off straight back. So we shouldn't, keyword shouldn't have to adjust the timing. But if so, I'm going to have to go in and buy a timing gun and look up how to the factory procedures on setting timing. Should be okay though, like I mentioned, I took it out as carefully and as straight as I possibly could. And we have all the parts cleaned up and ready to go back in. Just made it back home everybody and looking at the covers now, they look amazing. These came out amazing. Again, a huge shout out to Powder Bros local here in Tucson, Arizona. Definitely hit them up for all of your powder coating and dipping needs. Of course, they sandblasted the surface, got everything prepped, laid down the gloss white, and then a layer of clear coat. I can't get over how nice this looks. Told them to just leave the cover alone. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, and then I need to run to the store and buy some adhesive. Of course, some things I need to address. The AN10 fittings also got sandblasted. I forgot to tell them to cover these up, but that's all right. I can hit up radium and get some new ones, opposed to ordering these straight from Australia. The push type, I'll leave a link in the description below too for those. So I'm gonna go ahead and order those after this clip. He also they did a really good job with the spark plug cover as well. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the inside with a lot of compressed air to ensure that all sand or debris is fully out because once these are seated, I don't want any debris being thrown around in the head. 
course, clean up the oil cap. Spot two. This came out really nice as well. And then once all the preparation is done, you know me, being a detailer, I'm gonna go ahead and prep these for ceramic coating. Just got the cam cover on and it looks amazing. Definitely in the very near future before the show, I will be investing in some engine dress up hardware, replace this OEM stuff with some nice blue titanium. Same with the cast sensor. Um, that is on my list too. I am looking at an RB rebuild trigger kit. Trying to put everything on is proven to be a little bit complex. Of course, taking it off is easy, but trying to fit on the rocker covers has proved to be very difficult. It's like everything morphed in the two weeks it's been off, but I will do my best with my patience to put everything back on. All right, so of course we have the cam cover on. I have the rocker covers 99% hand tight. I just have the coil pack cover sitting in my God, this looks beautiful from almost all angles. Really brings out the engine bay. Maybe one day I'll take everything out and respray the bay. Of course, when we go RB25, whenever that is, I'll be sure to do that. But as of right now, I think the RB20 deserves a front facing intake, front facing plenum. I know Plasma Man makes a high quality one, so I'll definitely be looking to that. Because like I said, after October 9th, I'm gonna be incredibly busy with work, transitioning into the holidays. I will have no time pretty much for both these builds. So I'll be doing a nice saving frenzy. And when I'm doing my in custom intake piping, I'd rather do that once opposed to twice. But let me know what you guys think below. I think the engine bay portion of the Skyline is coming along quite nicely. So I do need to run to the hardware store and find a specific washer for this bolt. I was shorted a couple but before I go, let's go ahead and put on the Gretti oil filler cap. This is gonna bring the engine bay to life. Definitely the little things that matter. The contrast with the blue and the white looks so nice. Oh, the cast is just throwing this off. Like I mentioned, we're going with an RB rebuild trigger kit. Oh, so nice, so nice. All right, back home, took me about an hour to find the washer I needed from Home Depot because that bolt was super specific. The washer size was like 14S. But anyways, I finally managed to get that bolt in. It was a pain in the butt because of all the wiring in the way. So what I ended up doing was grabbing a piece of like hard paper, putting it down like so and just slid the bolt in. And by some miracle, I got the thread on. That's awesome. I got all the coil packs and the wiring harness put back together. I triple checked to make sure that each coil pack was accommodating, of course, each cylinder, one through six. Got the igniter back on with the grounds. So in terms of the torque specs and the sequence you need to torque down the rocker covers, I do have it written down, part of my chicken scratch. So, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I would go through the sequence at least three times and the manual calls for eight Newton meters, which is about six foot pounds. But honestly, I would just get them tight. I would do about six foot pounds at first and then just hand tighten the rest in the correct sequence. Same goes for the other rocker cover. Everything is good, I double checked. I would check again in like a week after driving because I know these bolts are notorious for coming undone. Again, heat expands and then cools to shrink and it loosens up. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put all the intake piping back on. Try my best not to scratch the rocker covers. And that should be it for this video. I can't start it yet. Like I mentioned, because I need to take out my fuel pump and redo the wiring. All right, 
finally reassembled the RB20, everything back on, minus the push fittings, which I went ahead and ordered. I just went with the company I went for before, which was Aeroflow, which are based out of Australia. So hopefully these push fittings come within the next 10 days, maybe sooner, last time I got lucky. But anyways, RB20 is looking as fresh as it possibly can be. Really entertaining the idea of a front facing plenum just so I can, of course, make the engine look significantly cleaner and we can eliminate this here, which is, a, of course, turbo lag. Other than that, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Other than that, everybody, that is going to conclude this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and sticking around. I have a lot of content. I just don't have a lot of time to execute it, but I'm doing my absolute best. A little bit nerve racked right now for, of course, starting the RB20, just in the matter of the cast sensor in terms of timing, but I did my research on it. So if timing is slightly off, I can just go ahead and readjust it real quick by the indications on the cast sensor where the washers were held onto. So cross my fingers, everything works out. But thank you again, everybody, for your continuous love and support. And if you're new to the channel and wanna hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. And remember, aim high, drive low. We'll catch next video. Take care.